helpful tips and tricks. When I make my bracelets, I drop the knot through the center, pick up the card, I put my bobbin through the end of my loop, and drop it back in the middle. This helps me for when I pull up my strings, the knot stays in place. Also, when I'm making my bracelet, I like to take my left hand and hold the center of my knot down, move the top right to the bottom right, and the bottom left to the top left, and this helps keep my string in place and keep the strings nice and tight. Everyone has their own technique, but I like to use both hands and switch from top to bottom. And then you can rotate it. After completing my switch, if I need to take a break, I'll use an extra bobbin and put it to the right of where I need to start next. So when I come back, I can just take it out and keep going. Colors and bobbins are also up to the crafter. In this bracelet, I used the same pattern, but substituted purple for red and white for green. Also, instead of using the bobbins, I hold the number one with the top of my finger, keep the string tight, and I can switch the strings from top to bottom with no bobbins. The bobbins do help to keep the strings from getting tangled. The pattern disc is only used for the initial setup. After that, follow the counterclockwise sequence. And remember, it's a circle of creativity, so get creative. Use your own colors and even experiment with different kinds of string or even ribbon.